Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question I received from a viewer. I will read the question in its entirety, and then I will do my best to answer it. If you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, people do read the comments, and so when you leave a constructive comment, it really does help people. Okay, the person's name is John, and the subject is preparing for masters. Hi, professor. I'm a longtime Udemy student, and I was wondering if your courses would be helpful to prepare me to take prerequisite classes for a master's in AI. AI here is artificial intelligence. The five classes are found here, and he gives me the link, and it's a link to the courses at a very reputable school. So John is going to a very, very good school. That's his plan. And the course names are, so the courses are Data Structures, Introduction to Programming Using Python, Introduction to Probability and Statistics, Multivariable Calculus and Complex Analysis, Linear Algebra and its Applications. The idea is to take a year or longer to complete the above and then start the Masters. Regards, John. So first, as an answer to your question about my courses, my answer is unfortunately no. So none of my courses will help you prepare for your Masters. None. I actually checked, I went in there before making this video, and I looked at the descriptions of those courses that you have to take for your masters, and there's just not enough overlap, in my opinion, to justify spending any money on my courses. As much as I want you to, you know, to buy them, no, don't do it. Instead, save your money, and my advice would be to go out and take that money that you were gonna spend on my courses and go online and just search for some old books, okay? And by old books, I mean used copies of the books that are being used for those specific classes. So that's gonna require some research. You might have to go online. You have the course numbers here in your email and search for those specific courses by course number with the name of the school on Google and maybe you'll find an old syllabus and that syllabus will contain the textbook. Then go online, search for that textbook and try to find a used copy for as little money as possible and then study those books. That is going to help you tremendously, more than anything else. The downside to that is even though they're used, sometimes those books do cost a little bit. The Python one's probably not gonna be too expensive, but like you never know what book they use for data structure. Sometimes those can be costly, just depends on the book. So that's my advice. And then work through those books. When you get stuck, just use Google and YouTube to search for explanations or answers. Another piece of advice I have, which I think is really good advice, otherwise I wouldn't be giving it, is the following, and I, and I don't know if it's possible. So do everything I said, right? But instead of a year, because I, like, I feel like in a year it's very easy to lose focus. Maybe, maybe shorten your time frame. Maybe make it a few months, and instead of taking all of these classes, maybe you can just take one class at a time I don't know if that's a possibility at this particular school, but if you can take one class at a time, that might be better. So maybe like decide, hey, I'm gonna take the class on introduction to programming using Python. So I'm gonna spend the next three months learning Python with the book that is being used in the class, plus there's a gazillion resources for Python. Then you take that course, and I think that will be effective. That will be an effective way to get through those prereqs. Uh, then maybe do the same thing with data structures, right? Just maybe start with one course just to get your feet wet, as they say. There is something about being in a college classroom that gives you this structure and focus, right? You have uh, uh, someone saying, hey, this is what you should do. This is due here. It keeps you focused. You know, it's really easy to lose focus with self-study. As, as much as I'm a fan of self-study, it's very easy to get derailed, especially if you have too many things you want to do at once. You want to study this, you want to study that, you want to go outside and play basketball, um, you know, you want to go swimming, you want to eat ice cream. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff out, but it's really easy to get derailed. So I think it's better if you just jump into it, maybe start with one class. So that's my advice. If anyone else has advice for John, again, the classes are data structures, Python, probability and statistics, multivariable calculus and complex, and linear algebra and its applications. If anyone has any advice for John on those classes or on what he should do to prepare for his master's in AI, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck, John.